From Shame Pinata, I'm Colleen Thomas. This is Daily Magic for Peace. Today we will connect to the concept of safety. Welcome to The Circle. So today all you need is a coat. And as we come together today, I want to welcome you. Whether this is your first time in the circle or you've been around for a while, you are welcome and I'm so glad you're here. To get started today, let's connect with our nervous systems with the good old 5-4-3-2-1 exercise. Very simply, I invite you to look around and notice five things that you see. Just kind of name five things you can see. And now see if you can touch four things. Maybe you can find four things that have a different texture than each other. And can you hear three things? And can you smell two things? And can you taste one thing? And connecting now to your grounding cord, noticing how close you are to the earth, strengthening that grounding cord, just connecting with that grounding cord, finding yourself connected to the earth, allowing gravity to hold you a little more tightly, trusting whatever you are standing, sitting, or lying on just a little bit more, allowing yourself to drop, trusting in what is beneath you. And today we're going to touch into and work with the idea of the first chakra. The first chakra at the base of the spine. The first chakra, which you might see if you go into your mind's eye and you just sort of notice what's the energy like at the base of your spine. How closed or open is it? So just noticing what is your first chakra like today? So we're going to stay with that first chakra energy and connect to the concept of safety. So when you hear that word safety, you might have images that automatically spring to mind. Maybe things from the news or things that you were told as a child. You may notice that your nervous system has a bit of a reaction to that word safety. What I would like to invite us to do today is to find some calming, some connection to groundedness and balance with this concept of safety. And each one of us listening to this podcast episode is going to be in a different place in our life. In fact, if you listen to this episode, you know, in six months, you'll probably have a different experience of what safety means to you. I would like to invite you in this moment to put a hand on your heart, maybe another hand on your belly, and just come to a place of quiet stillness and ask yourself, what do I need to feel safe in this moment? And if I already feel fairly safe, what would make me feel a little bit safer? What would make me feel a little bit more comfortable? What would help my nervous system relax just a little bit more? And see if you get an image or a felt sense, or even a word. So just noticing what you hear when you ask this question. And I invite you to go forward with that idea 
and imagine it's happening right now. Imagine that you are getting that thing that will make you feel just a little bit safer. Imagine it's happening right now and maybe feel your nervous system relaxing a little bit more. And if these words I'm saying aren't resonating with you, then think of a time when you felt really safe and really comfortable. Allow yourself to drop into that memory. Allow your body to soften. Allow your defenses to come down just a little bit and just rest. Soften and rest. We're cultivating a feeling of deep safety right now. And when you feel like you've got a really good handle on that, you're really feeling it in your body, I invite you to take your coat, reach out and bring that coat near you and hug that coat to you. Or if you're in public, just touch that coat (laughs) and just Allow, maybe from your hands, if that feels good to you, allow, allow this feeling of safety and comfort to go right into this coat. We're going to let this coat hold these good feelings. And I think you can see where we're going here. What we're going to do is we're going to have this coat be a resource for you in the future. So if you're holding an actual coat right now, you are transferring some of these feelings of peace and of safety and of calm into this garment, which if it's your intention and you maintain the magic that you've just put in this garment, it will be there for you. And when you put the garment on, you'll have the association, you will remember the feelings. It can become a sort of a special coat that you wear when you're not feeling so good or when you need a little bit of extra love or maybe if you're just feeling a little bit edgy or unsafe. And if you're imagining a coat, just imagine it being your favorite color, the most amazing coat you would love to find and own or design and, you know, sew and wear. And imagine that this is a coat you can put on whenever you want. And maybe the next time that you find yourself feeling a little disempowered or a little bit lacking or unsure, you can remember to put this coat on in your mind's eye and nobody will even see it. If it's a physical coat, nobody will know what it means to you. And if it's an imaginary coat, nobody will see it. This is the kind of work that can be very special, a very deep and special way of bringing care and love to ourselves. By planning ahead and giving ourselves support and resourcing, even into the future. And we're going to begin to transition out of this practice, out of this meditation, this ritual together today, letting go of your coat, giving gratitude to your coat, giving gratitude to the circle for this practice. I am so grateful to have been here with you today to do this work. And I invite you to take a breath as we close. May it be so. Thank you so much for being with us today. Your presence, your energy, and your heart make all the difference in healing our world. Remember to breathe today. Breathe and expand. And I hope you join us again next time. And please consider inviting a friend. That's it for Daily Magic for Peace. It would mean the world if you would rate and review the show on Apple Podcasts, Podchaser, or anywhere you can write a review to help other people find our circle. Our music is by Terry Hughes. I'm Colleen Thomas. Thanks for listening.